The basics include, first, your purpose. Why does your company exist? Your brand promises. What promises are you holding out to your customers that you're going to keep on a consistent basis, that they value too? Your core values. How do you want everyone in the organization to behave every single day? Your playing field. What's the scope of your business? Psychographic scope, demographic scope, product scope, or other. What's your long-term dream, or what we're going to call your BHAG, your big, hairy, audacious goal? Let's get started on the basics. Let's talk about your company purpose. Why does your organization exist? Now, I want you to consider something. Think of someone who works for you full time. Consider that they spend more time with you and with your organization than they spend with their spouse, partner, friends, recreational activities, than they spend with their family. They spend more time with you. And if they're gonna have a purpose in life, probably you're gonna define a big part of that. If they're gonna have structure or meaning in life, a big part of that rests with you. So we really do want to give people um, meaningful purpose in life because it's good for us in the organization and it makes sense, but also because it's really just the right thing to do. Very few people, let alone organizations, have meaningful purpose. Purpose drives the team to contribute and to care. And purpose helps everyone work for something bigger than themselves. I have a client group and they have uh, veterinary clinics uh, throughout the country and internationally. They've got thousands of employees and they decided that their purpose was to care for life's greatest companions. Now think about this. Imagine if you get into that field of work. You probably didn't get into the veterinary space because you just want to make a lot of money or you think it's a, a way to a quick buck or you just fell into it. Probably you went into that because you cared about animals, obviously, right? So emphasizing that purpose, we're here to care for life's greatest companions, helps an employee at every level, whether you're a veterinarian, whether you're a veterinary technician, or whether you're the newest entry level hire, to remember why you're doing this. So in the middle of a tough day and you've had a really tough customer interaction, they can go back and they think, yes, but at, at, at the root of it all, we're caring for life's greatest companions. See, that's the power of purpose. It connects people to something bigger. It connects them to having meaning at their work. Uh, very few people have purpose. And if you can give them purpose for what they're doing, you're just going to grab their heart so much more than you're currently doing. Purpose just asks, answers the question, why do we do what we do? Here's the golden circle. So the golden circle has three concentric rings. And most of us don't really get past the outside ring. So the outside ring is just what do you do? So let's use the example of my friends in the veterinary business. And if you were to ask them what they do, they would say, well, we care for the health needs of animals. Is that compelling? Well, maybe to some, but it's just a bare statement of what they do. Then you might ask, well, how do they do it? And they'd say, well, we have state-of-the-art clinics and hospitals throughout the country. Okay, good. But it's the center of that golden circle that's really compelling. Yeah, but why do you do it? Because we're caring for life's greatest companions. That's what grabs the heart. That's what's compelling. So if you start from the inside of the golden circle and you say, why do we do what we do? Let's say you're recruiting someone. You say, because we're caring for life's greatest companions. We have a greater purpose here. And by the way, here's how we do it. We have state-of-the-art clinics and hospitals, but it flows from the why. Because we care about these animals, we're going to have state-of-the-art stuff. And by the way, what we do is we help them with health needs. But you need to start from the middle of that golden circle because that's where compelling uh, purpose and motivation comes from. 